and welcome to our virtual show and tell called Whose Tracks Are These? My name is Mara Askell and I'm the Ag Ed Farm Manager with Mitchell Parks of Butler County. We're going to go on a tracking adventure to try to figure out what animals are out there in the parks with Metro Parks of Butler County, even if we can't see or hear them. There is wildlife all around and they do leave signs if you know what to look for. So what kind of signs do they leave? Well, let's answer that question and many more through activities. We're going to use pictures, furs, study skins, and of course the live animal presentation too. If you have the opportunity to print off the animal tracking booklet, make sure you do that before we do our tracking stations. Here are some clues that animals may leave behind. Tracks in the snow. How about a pile of scat, which is their poop and pee. Look for worn down trails that might lead to burrows or homes. Here we have a white-tailed deer rubbing its antlers on the tree. Here's some of the bark has been worn off and maybe somebody chewed it off. Speaking of chewing, look at this American beaver. Maybe you'll find a pile of acorns or walnuts. And of course, look up to find the nest from the squirrels and the birds. Now most animals leave tracks on the ground when they walk or they run. And depending on the size of the track, the actual shape of the foot, whether there's webbing, a skin between the toes, or no webbing, or whether there are claws that show in the track, or no claws. All of those are definitely things that will help us determine what the animal is. Ohio's mammal wildlife can be divided into four groups depending on the number of toes on their feet. Group A is the two-toed mammals, like our white-tailed deer. This is a female. Group B is the four-toed mammals. Those are the rabbits, coyotes, foxes, and the bobcats. Group C is a four-toed on the front and five-toed on the back feet, like our mice and squirrels. And group D is our five-toed mammals such as opossums, raccoons, otters, beavers, and our eastern striped skunk. Okay, now it's time to get your animal tracking booklet ready. I've set up eight tracking stations. Now look at your booklet. You should have six pictures of animals. So I've given you two extra tracking stations just to make it a little bit more challenging for you. So put on your thinking caps and let's go. Tracking station number one, what animal am I? Here's a large print of one of my hooves. And here's an example of a track mold of my front hoof. Notice I have two toes. What direction am I traveling in this mud? How about the hoof print in the sand? Sometimes you may find the bark on trees have been rubbed off because my antlers are itchy. Look closely, you might also find some fur left behind. Hmm, wonder how I got my name. Tracking station number two, what animal am I? Here's a large print of one of my feet. Notice the webbing between my toes? Here's another example of a track mold. Besides webbing, I do have claws. And as long as my habitat doesn't completely freeze over, I am happy to live in Butler County, Ohio. Tracking station number three, what animal am I? Here's a large print of a back foot and a front foot. This is an example of the track mold of my back foot or what we call hind foot. Look closely at my tracks when I'm hopping through the snow. Not sure what I am yet? Well, here is some of my fur and it is very, very soft. Tracking station number four, what animal am I? Here is a track mold of one of my two feet. My claws are called talons. And since I am a carnivore, I eat other animals such as mice. I'm also fond of other small mammals, frogs, and snakes too. 
I eat everything of my prey, which includes all their bones, their fur, and their tails. And after digestion, I will cough up a pellet, which if dissected will let you know what I just ate. I tend to hang out in trees and I'm well camouflaged due to my feathers and my big brown eyes. Tracking station number five, what animal am I? This large print on my foot kind of looks like a human hand because of the opposable thumb. Here's a copy to show you the difference between my back foot and my front foot. Here's a track mold of what my foot looks like. I am the only marsupial in North America and my fur is very soft and I have a long naked tail. Tracking station number six, what animal am I? Now notice that my hind foot is longer and thinner than my front foot. My claws don't always show up in a track if it's in the mud and the snow though. I have five toes on my front feet and my back feet. Here's a track mold of my foot. Many of you think I have a solid white stripe down my back, but sometimes I don't. Tracking station number seven, what animal am I? I am in the group of animals that have four toes in the front and in the back. Here's an example of, one of my track mold. Notice my pads and my claws. It resembles a domestic dog print, right? And here is a photo of my tracks that are on the left side and there's a larger canid which is on the right side and they're called the coyote. Last but not least, number eight, tracking station. What animal am I? I have five toes in front and in back and I like to use my long fingers to hold my prey. My back foot is longer than my front foot. I am an omnivore, so I eat both plants and animals, but my favorite prey items live near water such as this crawdad. Yum, yum. I am known for wearing a mask, but I also have a striped tail. So how did you do on the animal tracking stations? Let's go over the answers quickly. Station number one was the white-tailed deer. Two was a mallard duck. Three was your eastern cottontail rabbit. Four was the barred owl. Station number five was the opossum. Six was the eastern striped skunk. Seven was our red fox. And station eight was the raccoon. Now there were two tracks that aren't in your animal tracking booklet that we just mentioned. Do you know what those two are? And it should have been the eastern striped skunk and the red fox. Hi, we're getting ready to do our live animal presentation here at Chris Home Historic Farmstead. And we want to thank Scott Peak, one of our outdoor educators with Metro Parks of Butler County for helping, and also a junior volunteer here, Alita Askill. But we're not going to be talking about humans in the tracking program. Let's talk about our pygmy goats. So we have two pygmy agouti goats that live here. The black one is a black agouti, and the gray one is a gray agouti. They are weathers, and they're about a year and a half old. This is what they're doing. They are going around, and they are what we call browsers. They like to pick and choose what they like to eat. Thankfully for us, one of their favorite green snacks is the non-native honeysuckle. So we are gladly cut that for them when it's in its growing season. Now, besides out here in the pasture, they eat a variety of different fruits every single day, such as hay, goat feed, alfalfa pellets, and of course corn. Some of their special treats are licorice and apple pellets. But you know what their favorite treat is, which pretty much gets them to do anything we want them to do? It's frosted corn flakes. Now pygmy goats are generally kept as meat goats or as pets or companion animals on a farm. And do you want to know something that's really cool about goats? They are ruminants, which means they have four compartments in their stomachs. How often is that to have a four part tummy? Now this is advantageous because mammals generally have a hard time digesting plant material and getting the full nutrients from it. So having extra parts in your stomach to help this process is a bonus. But I'm not sure it would help any of us humans here to have four tummies though. Goats are eating and pooping all the time. So you notice these round fecal pellets? We clean up after our boys two times a day and always make sure they have plenty of fresh, clean water because they drink a lot too. Hmm, I wonder who left this track here in the goat paddock. 
have two toes and it's a hoof. So here we have one of our pygmy goats, our gray one, who's up here to get ready to have his hooves trimmed. So you put them up on the trimming stand and then you lift up their foot and then you can see his hoof. It's two-toed. Very good, everyone. And hopefully you had fun learning about the tracks and the signs that our wildlife leave in the parks here at Metro Parks of Butler County. Our next virtual show and tell is going to be on Thursday, January the 28th and starts at 10 o'clock and its title is Pioneer Ice Farmers. So don't worry if you aren't able to join us at that time from the comforts of your own home, you can check out the program at our website at yourmetroparks.net. If you go to log off, shut down, get outside, then you can see all of our virtual programming. So thank you everyone and take care.